welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. Value stream mapping is all about making improvements. There are hundreds of improvements we can undergo through our value stream map, and it's impossible to describe it all here, as the improvements depends upon the nature of the business, uh, which may be different for manufacturing and service related business and the size and complexity of the business and business problems. The first improvement that we can look in the value stream map is making improvement in the process. We should see if there are any special bottlenecks in the process. If a certain process is taking a long time and has a huge inventory, we should understand that that process is a bottleneck. It's taking us a long time to handle service or finished product to the customer. See here, it seems like the bottleneck is in the preparation step of the pizza. This was for the service related business. Another example, let's see here, seems like there are a lot of inventories between each step of the process. So, inventories and long time or the waiting time are the bottlenecks of the process. We can improve the process by reducing inventory by using a pool system, which is a system that produces products or services only on the demand of the next step or as per the demand of the customers, which helps in decreasing the amount of inventories building up. To decrease the process time, we can adopt different strategies such as maintaining equipment in their healthy state, standardizing the work process so that there is no confusion of who does what activity at a certain time and using lean tools such as pokayoki or mistake proofing devices that helps in reducing defects and if it is a case of industry adopting SMED or single minute exchange of dies which uses methods to reduce the change over time of the machines to 9 minutes or less. The next improvement that you may think of improving for the future state value stream map may be balancing the process. Sometimes work activities are unevenly balanced. Suppose there are three departments, department A, department B and department C which all have nearly same work difficulty level. However, for process A, suppose there are three people. For process B, there is uh, one person and for the process 2, there are two people. It creates a pressure for department B as there is only single person. Also, as the people of department 3 finish their job first, the inventories gather before process B creating an inventory waste. As there are two people in the process C compared to one in B, the work done is slow for process B and hence people in the process C have to wait some time for process B getting completed, thus creating a waste of waiting. For making improvements for future state map, we have to balance the process. We can adopt equal staff distribution or we can adopt a lean tool called Hijanka. Hijanka is just work leveling so that production volume and workload remains constant. The next improvement can be made in the communications. In the current state map, we see here that there are many verbal communication channels and this straight arrow shows that the communication is done manually. We can improve the communication with the internet based communication. We can adopt software for making effective communication and we can also keep uh, software for a uh, good stock record of the materials. So in the finished state value stream map, there should be some improvements in the communication too. You can also introduce Kanban boards for communication. This contains boards with different stickers attached denoting the progress of a process. By just visual observation, we can know whether the process has just started or if the process is undergoing some works or if the work is already completed. This acts as a good method of visual communication. After all these improvements in the reduction of the inventories, improvement in communication, improvement with the process balance and decreasing the process time with various tools, 
we can get a future state map which is improved compared to the current state map. Just for example, see here. The process time has reduced compared to the present state. The process is balanced. Inventories are managed. The communication is digitalized and the system automated with the software. Also, the process is made fast and efficient with various tools. As I previously said, there could be many other ways of improvements and it all depends on the type of industry. But for all industries, our principal goal of improvement with a value stream map should be improvement with communication, improvement with inventories and improvement with the process. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.